Now this exercise is the seated leg curl. The muscle that it will work, or the muscles, will be the hamstring, the back upper part of the leg, and the gluteus maximus, so the bum muscle. It might look like something out of Transformers, but once you get your head around all the adjustments, I'm pretty sure that you'll find this exercise quite beneficial during your workout plan because a lot of people are posteriorly quite weak in comparison to the anterior part of the body. So posterior being the back part of the body and anterior being the front part. So, the adjustments to be made on this one. There's quite a few, but if you take it one step at a time, it can be quite easy. So, as always, the first adjustment to consider is the seat, okay? Now the back pad, we need it supporting our lower back and our upper back when we're ready to perform the exercise. Just like with the leg extension, if you've watched that video, we've got a circular uh, pivot point, which we want to ensure our knees are carefully aligned with this. So, to do that, we again have got a lever just to the side of the back pad, and all you want to do is pull it out, away from the body, and then that will bring the legs back or forward. So, as I say, you want to ensure that your knees are in line with this point, and that's the first adjustment complete. Next, what this is doing is we're taking it from full extension into a flexion position. So we're flexing at the knee, which is going to engage the hamstring muscle. So we need to bring our legs up and rest on the pad. Now this pad is what's going to affect the range of movement. There's another adjustable uh, button just where my hand is here. And all you're looking to do is either roll it up or down the leg. What you want to do is ensure that it's just above the Achilles heel, which is just above the heel of your foot. So, next, we've got the range of movement, okay? So, we want to be in an extended position where we're going to be able to sweep our legs under us. So, the next one, and again, if it's tricky, just keep giving it a good push, and pull, and you'll get there in the end. You can either bring it up nice and high for a really big range of movement for the sweep, or if you'd like to start with less, we can start with less. It's totally up to you. So, you just want to make sure the weight is correct. We will increase the range of movement. And then finally, you want to lock yourself in position. So this pad along here, we want to ensure that it's resting gently on the top of the quadriceps muscle, just above the knee. To do so, we've got one final lever that just pulls out away from the body, and then you just bring it down to the point at which it's over or just above the knee. I'm currently finding that that is directly on the knee, which we don't want, so if that's the case, you then just pull the back pad out, bring the seat slightly more forward, shuffle the bum, but as long as the lower back's fully supported, you're good to go. Again, you might find that once you've sat in it and you've moved a little bit, you might want to just readjust the roller, which you can do effortlessly. So, with your toes pointing up throughout the movement, you're looking just to sweep under and contract the hamstrings and the glutes whilst doing so. So hands on the handle, and then you just bring it under, holding it at the point where your legs are at around about 90 degrees, really squeeze the glutes, squeeze the hamstrings, and then slowly return it back up. Breathing out as you sweep under, and then bring it back up. Again, controlled throughout. People have a tendency just to let it swing back up, but you're not really working the muscle through the range of movement at that point. 
which really decreases the effectiveness of the exercise. That is the seated leg curl working the hamstrings and the gluteus maximus.